What's up guys this is Network Ninja here. Today we are going to see how to configure virtual chassis on Alcatel Lucent 16900 switches which has software version R8. Here I took two 16900 X20 switches which comes with 20 10 gig fiber ports. I have already powered on the switches I am going to connect to switch 1 using a console connection. If you don't know how to console to a switch, I have already made a video. I will leave the link into the i button. Let's get back to the laptop to start configuring the virtual chassis. I am opening a party session and going to start a serial connection. Ok, I can see the switch login prompt. Let me make the font little bit bigger. Perfect. I am going to log into the switch using my admin username and password. Okay, I am logged in. I am going to enter command show system. As you can see, my switch model is OS 1600x20 with a software version of 8.7.277 revision 01. Next we'll see the show interface status. I have 20 interfaces. There is nothing connected to my switch yet. Also we can see I have 10 gig interfaces. Next we are gonna check the current directory using command pwd. Right now we are in the flash directory. We need to change the directory using command cd working. We see boot.cfg and we see setup.cfg. These are the two files that exist in working directory. That's why we want to change our directory to working. Go ahead and read the content of the VC setup.cfg file using command more and the file name. In this case, it is VC setup.cfg. As you can see, there is some configuration in this file. This is the default configuration that comes with the switch. If your switch does not have this configuration or this file, don't worry, you can create this file using a command vi space vc setup.cfg and you can enter your own configuration to create a virtual chassis. To check the virtual chassis configuration, you can also enter another command show virtual chassis topology. This will show you the chassis ID, the group ID and the role of the current switch. As you can see in my case, my chassis ID is 1, my group it belongs to is 53 and the role of the switch is master. This 53 comes from the vc setup.cfg file. I will go ahead and change this group id. To do so, enter command vi space vc setup.cfg. In this file, I will also delete some auto VFL link ports 16, 17 and 18 and will be keeping port 19 and 20 as my VFL link ports. I will also change the chassis group ID from 53 to 22 and will go ahead and save the configuration. To save the file, use command colon wq exclamation. This command will write all the changes we made so far and also quit the file. Make sure the file has all the configuration that we want. To check the configuration, again enter command more space vc setup.cfg. This will show us the content of the file. As you can see, it has two ports for VFL links, port 19 and 20. It also has chassis group ID of 22. To apply these changes to the switch, we will have to reboot the switch from the working directory. To do so, enter command reload from working, no rollback timeout. confirm the reload. Now the switch is rebooting. I will fast forward and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, the switch is up. Let me log back in. We'll enter command show running directory to make sure the switch is running from working directory. After that, we will enter command show virtual chassis topology. As you can see, the group ID has changed to 22 from the old configuration of 53. We will save these changes using command write memory flash synchro. 
this will save all the configuration files we have in working directory and copy them into the certified directory that's it our switch one is configured for the virtual chassis we will repeat the exact same steps on switch number two let me move my console cable to switch two and we'll start the configuration okay i'm connected to switch two now i'm gonna log in I'm going to run command show system just to make sure I'm using the same model of the switch and it is also running on the same software version. It is important to match the software version on both the switches while creating a virtual chassis. Otherwise the virtual chassis will not work and you won't be able to create a virtual chassis with switches using different software version. In my case my software version matches and also the switch model matches with the other switch. Next, we will change the directory to working. To do so, enter command cd working. Then we will check the content of the file vcsetup.cfg using command more space vcsetup.cfg. As you can see, this switch already has old configuration. The only thing I need to change is the chassis group ID from 23 to 22. It is important to match the chassis group ID with the other switch you are creating virtual chassis with if you don't see this configuration on your switch just make sure you change the chassis id to number two and the auto link port numbers to match with the chassis id so if you are using port 19 and 20 the port number becomes 2 slash 1 slash 19 and 2 slash 1 slash 20. you can add up to six switches in a virtual chassis you cannot add more than that so your switch number six ports become 6 slash 1 slash 19 and 6 slash 1 slash 20. I will go ahead and edit this file using command vi vcsetup.cfg and I will change the chassis group id to 22. Now I will save this file using colon wq exclamation. Now I will reload this switch as well using command reload from working no rollback timeout. And confirm the reload. Now the switch is rebooting, I will see you in a bit. Okay, our switch 2 has rebooted successfully. I am going to log back in. To make sure the switch took the configuration changes we made, I will be entering command show virtual chassis topology. As you can see, now the chassis ID is 2 and the chassis group ID is 22. It is field, you can see the current status of the switch. In this case, it is showing in it, that means it is initializing. We'll wait for a bit. If you want to see the extended version of this command, you can enter debug show virtual topology. This will show you the system ready state. So right now our system ready state is no, that means the switch is not ready to use yet. So we will give it some more time. Okay, as you can see, the system ready state changed to yes, that means our switch is ready to use and our status is also changed from init to running. We'll enter command show interface status just to make sure all the interfaces are showing right chassis ID. In this case, it is 2. And next, we will save this configuration using command write memory flash synchro. This will sync our configuration with the certified directory. Okay, at this point, our both switches are configured with a virtual chassis configuration. I will move my console cable to switch 1 and we will connect our VFL links. I am logged back into switch 1. As you can see this is also acting as a master switch with group ID 22. Here I have two DAC cables. I'm going to use these DAC cables to connect from port number 20 on switch 1 to port number 20 on switch 2. Similarly, we will connect port 19 on switch 1 to port 19 on switch 2. Okay, our connections are done. Let's get back to the laptop. As you can see, the operation status on port 1 slash 1 slash 20 is changed to up 
and it changed now. So whenever you connect a second switch to your master switch, there is a master election process happens and the slave switch reboots. In this case, switch 2 will become a slave and it will reboot. There are few criteria to elect the masters in a virtual chassis. You can read about them in Alcatel documentation. To check the status of the virtual chassis, you can enter command show virtual chassis topology. We are still seeing switch 1 in our chassis, so we'll give switch 2 some time to join the chassis. It takes some time for the switches to reboot. I will fast forward and see you in a bit. As you can see, we started seeing some log messages on our switch 1. It seems our switch 2 is coming up and joining the chassis. We will enter the same command again, show virtual chassis topology. And as you can see, now we have two switches in our virtual chassis. Few people also called it as a virtual stack. Virtual chassis is the same thing. To make sure our switch 2 is in the ready state, we will enter command debug show virtual chassis topology. As you can see, switch 2 is not in system ready state. So we will give it some more time. Okay, as you can see, our system 2 is in ready state. So we have successfully created a virtual stack of Alcatel Lucent 16900 X20 switches. Make sure you save the configuration using command write memory flash synchro. This will synchronize your configuration across your switches and also save the configuration in certified directory. That's it. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye.